Good lord. This guy yells like a maniac. Ow! Thank you! Hi, everybody. You know who I am. You know where you are. And you know what we're playing. Let's get it on. Okay, so before we do this whole, uh, well, no, let's do, let's go this way. Can I, yeah, I can get up here, right? No? Yes? No, I can't. I need to go up the stairs or climb this box. I was going to say, let's go to the beetle shop or whatever the heck and buy a bug net because, well, we want one, we need one, and all the NPCs won't shut up about one. So, we need a bug net. But... Before that, let's run to this goddess statue and plug in my new piece of rock or tablet or stone or whatever the hell term we want to use for it and open up the new path that we got. I'm looking like I'm only going to need like three of those, maybe two more, maybe four total. I don't know. Doesn't look like it's going to take a lot of... I still don't understand why we need to open a path. They're just clouds. Just fall through them. I understand you can't see what's on the other side, but you're in a bird. Master, I have confirmed the location of a second opening in the cloud barrier. It is located in the skies to the northeast. This opening will allow you to access a new area on the surface. I suggest you fly there as soon as you complete necessary preparations. Thanks, Fee. Hopefully I have enough money for a bug net or something at least good. Ooh. Kukio, Kukio, where could that child have gone? Oh, Kukio, where did you go? What will I do if she has been kidnapped? Oh, Link. Now listen, I'm on a journey here. There's other knights around that could help you out. What well, perfect timing. You haven't seen my Kukio, have you? Not today, lady. I, I see. Please, Link, won't you help me look for her? I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find her. I've asked everyone I could find for help, and a few people have said that she has been spotted with some unknown person with a scary face. Someone else even said they thought they'd seen her carried off by a monster. A monster! She must have been kidnapped. She is so cute and friendly. Someone must have just walked off with her. Fine, Kukio, please. Please, it breaks my heart to think that she is somewhere out there crying. Please, Link. Oh, God. What else can I say, lady? Thank you. The Knight Academy should be proud of a student like you. Please find my daughter quickly. Hey! I mean, obviously she needs help, and I'll help her. But, uh, kind of pushy about it. Okay, that's all I'm saying. What's that say? Statue of the Goddess. Oh, thanks. I didn't realize. Is that airship not here? Oh, there it is. No. Camera. No. Really? Grab it. Sweet. This is the dumbest method to get into a shop, and very annoying. He could have just, like, set up a stall down here so that we could shop accordingly. Just, I'm just putting that out there. What you got, buddy? Wow. You're just pedaling the whole time. That looks like a fun life. Good lord! Ow! You've come all this way! It's so rare to have a customer here. Beetle's Air Shop has everything you could ever want. Please take a look around. And if you actually buy something, that would be even better. Well, show me the prices first, buddy. How about that? God, this guy yells like a maniac! That's a bug net. You know, for catching bugs. Insects, too. Okay, so there aren't so many bugs here, but you'll be able to catch tons with this when there are some. And only 50 rupees, I'm sure you'll make a net profit. Yeah, 50 rupees, we'll take it. You got the bug net! Ah, okay. 
This guy is nuts. Oh, it really suits you. Now what else we got? Bigger rupee bag. It's an extra wallet. It's amazing useful. With this, you can carry an extra 300 rupees in your wallet. Say goodbye to all those times you couldn't pick up another rupee because your wallet was stuffed full. I haven't had that happen yet, I don't think. It's only a hundred. Okay, so we could afford it. We're not gonna buy it yet. I'll look, guy. Calm down. What the heck is that? Is that just a heart piece? A life metal. It bestows a bunch of mysterious and mystical effects on whoever carries it. What kind of effects? Don't ask me. I don't actually know. You should find out for yourself. Pretty sure it's a real bargain. 800 rupees! Well. We'll, uh... Save our pennies first, buddy. This looks like an extra adventure pouch. How much is that one? Well, can't afford that either, so... But we'll be back. We want that one for sure eventually, I'm sure. I'm sure of it, good sir. Well, let's go ahead and get the wallet, right? Might as well. God, guy. Ah! Ah! What beetle? I'm wearing a weird half top of a shirt, and then I'm naked from there down until my weird shorts, and I can't tell if that's my hair or a weird helmet, and my nose is... I don't know what the hell my nose is. You got the extra wallet! Plus three. It really suits me, doesn't it? All right, we're out of here. Maybe the bug net will come in handy for something. Now, what else was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I gotta look for this kid. Oh, Kukio! Where are you? I mean, if I said a monster carried her off, there's only like one place that a monster would carry her off, and that's the waterfall place that we already went to. Right? Now, how do I get... I just want to look at, like, the regular part of the world so that I can... take off those stupid... Well, that's annoying. I can't take away the beacons I've placed out there because I can't look at the other part of the map. Is that what you're trying to tell me here? There's a treasure chest in there. How do we get to that? Open this door, I say. Looks like there's some water in there. Must need to wait until I can swim down and then take a tunnel over. And that would be that. What's over here? How about an increased stamina gauge? Did I ever get that? Because my person... My person... Link... Sure seems like he gets tuckered real real quick like. What would my... My net would be... Here. That was easy enough. Caught one blessed butterfly. These insects are commonly found in every province. In rare cases, you can find them flying in strange locations. What's it? What's it do for me? Anything? Hey! I didn't even have to do anything. Just got him. Nice. bugs in that one. There's a treasure chest out there. That's not the same... That is the same chest we jumped to that one time, isn't it? But that was not unlocked like that other one was. I wonder if it... At least I don't think so. The other one looked like it had a glow to it, and that one doesn't look like it's glowing, so... I assume it is still locked. Maybe... I wonder if the lady... What's her name? Fee... Marks all of those unchecked... Unchecked. Unlocked chest on the map. I said there ain't been over here. Those ladies were blocking the bridge last time we were here. Did you hear? A child who'd been playing in the graveyard went missing. Can you believe it? Do you really think there are monsters abducting children in our little town? I do! Huh? What? So there's a chance she was dragged off by a monster? 
Let's not be ridiculous here. This monster business is going a bit far. Oh. Now that you mention it, there's an old man who lives near here who's always ranting about hidden monsters here in Skyloft. Everyone knows he's a little loony, though, so no one takes him seriously. You want to know where the old man is? I'd imagine he's at the Lumpy Pumpkin to the east of here, as usual. Oh my god, are you kidding me? You need to fly your bird there, of course. This is the face of a man who doesn't want to fly back to the Lumpy Pumpkin. How about instead of doing that, we just... Desecrate all the graves. Until we find the one that lets me go underneath of it, or something like that, and then we rescue her. How about that? No? That's not gonna work? You're not gonna let that happen? Instead, we're just gonna take money from the dead, from the deceased. Clink, you're a real a-hole, man. Oh, uh, yeah! Nope, no bug. How about this? What is this? All right, let's go to the lumpy, stupid pumpkin. I think it's weird that I even have to hit the button to call my my Skyloft, my loft wing, I mean. Like, shouldn't the game just do it for me? What reason would I have for jumping off the ledge other than... See, there's a chest down there. Let's go get that real quick, too. Like, let's, uh, oh my god, I'm gonna hit the wrong button every time. Let's mark that one. Close enough. Close enough. Let's get some speed! a small, small island. Oh, we are coming in hot. We are coming in hot. Nope, wrong way. What did the last one even give me? I forgot already. I have to cough again. <coughs> piece of heart. Is that what I got out of the last one? I don't think I, the last piece of heart I got was out of the chandelier that cost me all the, all the trouble I'm going to go through here for this guy. Okay, now to the rusky, rusty pumpkin or whatever the heck it's called. What are these? Are these enemies? Well, they are. Well, that's rude of you to be shooting at me like that. There's a surprise. There's not like a like sky pirates or something like that out here. And go! <laughs> Belly flop. Now, listen, guy, the beady eyed owner of this place, I'm not here to work, all right? I am here to talk to a man about scary monsters in my hometown. You have that gullible look that says you might take an old man's ramblings seriously. So tell me, do you believe in the Skyloft monster? I shouldn't even call it a monster. It's a demon, I tell you. But no one's going to say for sure because no one's seen it and lived to tell the tale. Whoa? You want to know how come I'm telling the tale if nobody who's seen it is left alive? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, well, I saw it, but I was able to escape by the seat of my pants. I was saved by my cat-like reflexes, I tell you. Any regular person wouldn't have lived long enough to scream. Anyway... I saw the thing, I tell you. There's a great big tree in the cemetery. I walked by that tree in the middle of the night, and I saw it hit the gravestone nearest the tree, and the gravestone lit up. It pushed the gravestone, and the door to the storage shed opened up all by itself. The monster then went into the shed, and then it closed the door behind itself, which was unexpectedly polite for a demon. It was the most terrifying thing these old eyes have ever seen. 
If you're smart, you'll stay clear of the cemetery in the middle of the night. Oh, this guy got any more business to yell at me about? I see you've delivered the soup to Agus. I'll subtract your pay from the bill for the chandelier. But you're not done yet. I am already scheming about what I need you to do next. I'm going to need some time to think about this, though, so come back and see me later. Well, you're a sucker. Never come back again. Although I'm sure I will, because I'll need to for something. Even if it's just to get 100% complete on the game. All right, so now we gotta go back to Skyloft, which is in some direction. There it is. Where's Groose at? How come Groose hadn't messed with me yet? Is that somebody on their Skyloft or no, it's just an annoying bird. I wish there was an actual like speedometer or something like that. I get that diving like makes you go faster, but it also takes away from your... Oh! We smacked right into it. Nope, nope! Well, I'm wasting my time now, aren't I? Might as well just go. Because, you know, I'm, I'm not heading forward so much now. I'm just diving down. And then when you level off, I feel like you lose that speed rather quickly. Maybe not, though. Still going pretty fast, I guess. Well, we need to wait till the middle of the night. So I guess I need to go to my house. Or my, my chambers, I suppose maybe we'll call it. Does it really matter where you jump off at? It looks like there's only a few places you actually get to land. Is there a door here? No? There's no door there? Oh, here it is. Hot! 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 I'm Link! Legendary hero! And Grunt Master Extraordinaire. How long do you want to sleep? Till night. That's a nice little effect. Oh, God, that bed ain't soft. That hurts. That's got to hurt completely. Now, will it have ever become night naturally if I had just like waited? I haven't noticed a time system in the game. Uh, really? The door is locked? That's annoying. You don't trust us knights to go outside at nighttime by ourselves? I've never went in his room before. Oh, it's he's asleep. He's sleeping. I guess I never explored the upstairs hallway in this place at all, did I? I just went out. I thought that was going to be locked for a minute. I was going to be pissed. Now, is, is everyone asleep or... Oh, somebody's up. Old Pippet, he's awake over there right now. Where's Bats flying around? There is monsters here. Why would anybody act like they're surprised that children got kidnapped when there's clearly monsters out here? And they are everywhere. Now, should I be trying to catch these bugs, these butterflies? Does it even matter? Oops, I'm stuck. Let that other one go. Get out of here, bat. Catch the butterflies. Where'd the other one go? There was another butterfly. Did it leave? You stupid bass scared away. Oh, wait, wait, what was that? What was that? Were those special bugs? Oh, 
or like fireflies. You caught one starry firefly. These insects are among the rarest in the skies. Well, there's three of them like right in front of me. But how rare could they be? Guys, are not gonna come back near the shore. I got get it, get it. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Never mind. We gotta find the girl. Oh, stupid cats, leave me alone. What in the heck? That's so weird. Like killer cats. Wait a minute. Where'd the cemetery go? Oh, it's down here. He said that the tree reached out and pushed this stone. Nothing happened. I'm creepy. Now we moved all these a minute ago. Now it wasn't nighttime last time we moved them, so maybe that's the difference, but maybe I should have a uh, oh a jelly blob. Okay. Maybe I should have talked to the old man again, or I should have talked to the lady who told me about the old man in the graveyard first before I came back over here? I mean, the, the, the tree couldn't have been alive. Something else had to have happened. Right? Damn it. Well, that certainly didn't do nothing. Whoa, now. Well, this is this is risky. I don't see anything else. This door sure isn't opening. There's no like uh, notes, is there? There's no notebook. There's no notes of conversations that I had. How in the heck am I supposed to remember what that guy said? Without going back and talking to him again, which I really don't want to do. I really don't want to fly back over there. But I feel like I should rescue this this girl. I kind of made a big deal about it. What's down in there? That's weird, right? Ooh, maybe I should use my goddess powers. Check this out up here. The heck is hmm that's interesting I want to hit that thing it does nothing the other one has like a little pinwheel type looking thing on it. What is this? Is this just the chimney coming out of this house? Looks like it. All right, let's walk over here. I don't understand. Oh, oh! I hadn't hit it before. There we go. Now, if it's not a monster, has the girl even really been kidnapped? Or is she just hanging out with someone? Didn't tell her parents? Or... What's going on here? This is... This is suspicious, that's for sure. I have suspicion. Was it Groose? Did Groose take her? 
Now, how would we not know about this creepy old building down here when we all fly birds around? Eek! What is it? Who is it? What is happening in here? Oh my god! Yeah! I'd say! Why does this game have these, like, completely side terrifying things? What the heck? Oh! Stop! Please! I beg of you! Don't hurt me! Oh goodness, I know how bad this must look to you right now, but I assure you I mean no harm. We were just playing the scream as loud as you can game. <laughs> Isn't that a fun game? Oh dear. Perhaps an explanation is in order. My name is Batro, Batrao, and I am a monster who resides here in this humble dwelling below Skyloft. But please allow me to correct one popular misconception. While I am certainly a monster, I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood-curdling scream at the sight of me. Since she began to visit me here, I have felt positively jubilant. You see, my heart's only wish is to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. But as you can surely imagine, it has proven quite difficult to break the ice when they are struck with paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with joy more than to be friends with the fine people of this town. But as soon as I try to approach any of them and extend my claw in friendship, they run and scream as though they have been s they've seen a walking nightmare. All right, silly me. I've gotten ahead of myself. You see, there is an old tale among my monstrous kin that goes as follows. It seems that when humans make other humans happy, the happy humans produce a substance known as gratitude crystal. Gratitude crystals are quite amazing. Just looking at them and knowing there is such gratitude in the world could turn me from a monster into a human. Oh goodness, nothing would delight me more than to become a human. From the moment I laid my regrettably demonic eyes on you, I could tell you had a gentle and generous heart. Would you please gather gratitude crystals and show them to me? Sure. Truly, you'll help me. I've heard that you can obtain pure gratitude crystals by helping people solve their troubles. They could also be merely lying about here in Skyloft or else where among the clouds, anywhere you find people. I'm sure someone with a heart as pure and genuine as yours will be able to see them. Please, solve some troubles and gather me all the gratitude crystals you can find. Any help you can provide will be dearly appreciated. I promise your assistance will not go unrewarded. What in the crap? This is weird. Hi. He's not a bad man. He saved me one time when I almost fell over the edge, and he lets me come here and scream as loud as I want. Anyway, he said it was dangerous to go alone, out alone at night, so I'll just hang out here for a while. Tell my mom I'll come home in the morning. This is crazy talk. Yeah, we, we got weird vampire Girahan or whatever his name is, and he's sticking this weird serpentine tongue out and trying to lick Link's ear. And then you got this googly gargoyle looking thing in here. And then we got Link who climbs ladders like a robot. Look at that stiff leg animation. Your joints are frozen, Link. What's wrong with you? Can you imagine the Zelda game that like just had like incredible, incredibly detailed graphics? Be awesome. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's not the style, though. Well, you know what? I don't care. I want awesome graphics combined with good Nintendo gameplay. Better than this gameplay, go. So, <laughs> this is the great gameplay I'm talking about. Not that this is bad. Just not, uh, not up there with the best of them. Now, is her mom still up here? Or is she at her house? Or is she anywhere? Can I even see her without just going to bed and waking up in the morning? Which will make me mad because she told me to tell her mom that she'll be home in the morning. But if I wait until morning to tell her mom, then she'll already be home. And that doesn't make any sense. Now, does it?
Ooh, it's not locked. You should really lock your doors, lady. Your child could be kidnapped by a monster. Her dad is Sylvester Stallone? What? Are you serious? You found Kukia? What did I tell you? Nobody here in Skyloft would harm a hair on her head. Oh! I found Kukia! Hmm, well, I guess it's good to hear she's at least with a friendly and responsible adult, but I just can't wait to see her. So, how about a gratitude crystal? How about that? That's it? That's the end of this journey? This quest? Well, I, I gotta say, I'm disappointed. I have been let down. Greatly. I have been greatly let down. All right, now we're just gonna go, uh, well, we're gonna go look for Zelda, I guess, at the next region we can go to. Oh no, if you exhaust yourself all the way, you become a turd. Just a straight up turd. Hmm, let's see, the door was locked on the lower level inside, so it might be locked on the outside. Well, it doesn't matter. I just want to go here, right here and save my game. Thank the gods. Next time, Zelda. Hey guys, if you liked this episode at all, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me grow. If you didn't like it, feel free to give it a thumbs down. If you have any feedback or anything you want to say, leave it in the comments. I love to read comments, guys, so hit me up. Otherwise, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for every view and viewer. We'll see you next time.